go back. So, are you recording? Yep. Okay. So, this is probably the best one you can use. Uh, so you've got all this stuff here. You click on the velocity one, and whatever your um, Reynolds number is on the on the, your experimental data, you're trying to match the same Reynolds number. So, for example, mine is a million, a million Reynolds number. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. My viscosity obviously depends on where it's, what, what temperature's at, so um, let's go for, I know that this one has this, so this is the kinematic viscosity at 20 degrees, depends on where your K, uh, where your Kelvin is, so just copy that. And obviously, it doesn't like those numbers, so there you go. Uh, density is one point one point two two five, unless your data has something else. So you need to check. And the length, mine is just one meter and you calculate and this is the velocity is that the chord length? yeah that's a chord length okay. that's, that's a chord length so this is the velocity I'll be using my uh, uh, my experiment so that's why well, my experiment to data used that velocity we, we didn't mention it we never mentioned that velocity but we mentioned the Reynolds number we mentioned the density and we mentioned the uh, temperature of when we've done it so it was 300 Kelvin it's obviously 20 uh, I've done it at 20 viscosity so that's a bit wrong but as long as you make it as accurate as possible then it's fine so this is your velocity so when you go back to your thing you uh, change your unit length to whatever that is so I'll just copy and paste this and this is your speed your, supposed to do your, your uh, tables so you click apply and that changed so let's change this to like I don't know, uh, minus five, just, just for the sake of it. So now we've got the speed going at 12, about the, a 12 with a minus five degree angle. So now what we can do yeah. is go on this, uh, update this project. Well, it doesn't take too long. You can probably pause it.